Hello, this is Final Zone, and today I'm going to show you some basic scripting of programs in uh, C Sharp, of course, in Microsoft Visual Studios. You can basically create some basic programs like menus and to open up uh, some programs on your computer. Like, I want to open a batch file or something, of course. The first thing you want to do is you go up to File, New, Project, and take Windows Form Application. You're just gonna re you're gonna rename it to whatever you like. Now you get Form One. Um, you you can change this window name from Form One in the Properties uh, settings like our program if you can't see the properties window you will go to um, form 1 in the solution explorer or you can also change the form 1.cs C sharp uh, name just remember the name because you're going to use it in our other codes like rename right here but you're going to click on properties that's will show you the properties when you click on, on it. You can also uh, change the background image and background image layer. You can do much stuff, change the size, many things. But I'm not going to show you that. Now let's create a button in the from the toolbox. If you can't see the toolbox, you go up to view toolbox. Now let's create a big, big motherfucking button. Now you can also change the name in the of the button in, in the settings, no uh, properties window, like start. Now let's go up to debug. Debugging means try trying the program out to see if any errors or to see if it works. Now click on this play button as you can see it doesn't do anything that's because we need some coding in it now we're gonna click on it double click now you have a simple simple code here made a uh, default you're just gonna type in some codes right here and I got the codes right here because I can't remember them myself now let's code now let's begin with um, launching a new window from that win from that button. You what you're gonna do is to create a new form. Go to, go up to Solution Explorer and take the Windows Form application or whatever you call it. Click Add New Item Windows Form and rename it to whatever you like. Oops, I didn't make one. Sorry. Windows form form 2 now we have two forms now you need to organize them to see like one two three let's go into this and as you can see in form 2 we don't have any buttons just let, let us just add one quickly so you can get the code so, program my program slash file now let's go into uh, form 1's um, scripting code now to launch a new form you're gonna copy this from the description as you can see you will get some arrows just delete these and rename it to the form 2 the form you want to open like I want to open form 2 you gotta call it form 2 and the same you do here new form 2 zero arrows then just close this it will automatically save it now let's see it. As you can see, it will go into a new window called Form 2. And now we have my program slash file. You can just close this. 
now we're gonna add something in here a new button you know programs always have about or helped let's create a dog button now you can create a simple text text messages with this button just copy paste this code and now you will type in some um, random text like welcome to about uh, just skip this one this is needed to show the message boxes do not type any code into this just these three you can also add news just by copying and pasting this so let's type in something like I hope you enjoy my tutorial please help me by commenting and liking something like that <laughs> so now we got text now it's going to look like this let's start debugging about welcome to about okay I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Please help me by commenting and liking. Okay. Hey 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 hey. So you can see we have now we now we can open a new window and we can also type up we can also go into a text uh, boxes. You can also create help. So now let's go into start. Oops, sorry. Let's go into form 2 and add some uh, coding right here. Sorry about that. Uh, now we're going to add some simple coding here to open a program. Cover page the system dynox process.start. Do not remove anything. Just go into one of these and now you're gonna find something. Let's just create a, just let's create a batch file quick. Just a message. Um, echo of echo. Hello, I like you when you you are reading this. Pause. Let's save it. The bat file. The bat. Hello, I like it when you're reading this. As you can see. Now we're gonna create a shortcut to it. Just do that. You're gonna go into the properties of the file. You can see the destination. Copy paste the destination. And after this you can delete the shortcut you don't need it because the destination is this one now you're gonna copy and uh, I mean past this in now that's ready now let's see let's click start my program file you can see that I I can open batch files by this Hello, I like you when you're reading this trip. Like this. I was gonna read some Danish right there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think you can also open some uh, games right like that. Just like uh, Minecraft here. Let's do this. Just copy. Just make a shortcut. Copy paste the destination, and you're ready. Remember not to delete anything. Or the C. Blah, blah, blah. Now we got that. No arrows. Start my program files. And as you can see, it can also start Minecraft. Any game, you just need the destination. 
Thank you for watching. I will create more tutorials with web browser and stuff. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I see you later.